You felt it before. A moment where you think to yourself, what do these people actually think of me? You see, when someone is secretly hating on you, a lot of times it's similar to someone that has bad breath. Either they are completely oblivious to their nasty odor, or they are aware but refuse to change their behavior. First, the way they put labels of you. No matter what you're pursuing in life, whether it's becoming a game developer or getting better grades, any skill or character trait that you want and don't want are put onto you with words. These labels they give you and the ones you continue to put on yourself manipulate your thoughts. Oh, I can't code. Coding's not for me. I'm shy. I don't like talking to people. You might think it makes you sound relatable and easy to understand. It doesn't. All it actually does is tell other people, Hey, when you think about me, I want you to think about social anxiety and not being good enough. I used to think and told people that I was bad at math. Until about 2022, I decided that I wanted to not be bad at math. Then I got better and better at doing math problems, which led to my grades improving significantly. But my whole life, I told myself I was bad at math, so I didn't study as hard because I thought I was bad at it. Everyone holds themselves back because of some limiting belief you picked up somewhere along the line. You see this? This is a rubber band. The finger on the left represents you and the finger on the right represents the people around you. You see that resistance? I, I want to leave my comfort zone. I don't want to be like this anymore. Then you have certain friends that start pulling you back down. Get back here, what happened to you? You've always been this way. And the people around you don't even realize or understand that they are doing this. But watch, many of you, you have not only one, not two, you have another one, and another one. These are all people holding you back. It's insane, right? They're powerful. It's a very strong power they have on you when they hold you back. And eventually when you try and push past these beliefs, it's so much more difficult to break away because when you do, it snaps. A few things happens after it snaps. First the initial pain, then the sudden acceleration in your growth. Guess how long I had one of these rubber bands for? From 2016 to 2020, I had a group of friends pulling me down. For four years, I didn't know what to do about these rubber bands. During those four years of me having rubber bands, having friends with bad breath, I was actually aware of it for three of those four years. I just didn't know how to snap the rubber band or confront them about their negative behavior. I was scared to confront them because my self-esteem was so low. Until finally I took the very slow route of just slowly distancing myself and turning down their invites. But after a few months of not talking to them, one of them reached out and it was clear that I made the right choice. These types of responses indicate no accountability to their actions and show that they refuse to acknowledge your concerns. But what if you don't want to cut them off? Maybe you see potential in them to grow with you, while well, you should still confront them to improve the quality and communication of your relationship. If you want to do things better than how I did, when you confront someone who's being negative, I need you to do it strategically and as kindly as possible. Talk to them privately, one on one. Let them know your intention is to inform, not to disrespect. Hey Daniel, I've noticed you've been acting in a way that affects me negatively. Are you aware of this? It's important to understand that the rubber band effect isn't black and white. Not all of your friends are against you or with you. I think one of the reasons I was scared to confront them or cut the rubber band was because of what I thought would happen after. If you feel like cutting the rubber band flat out isn't a viable option because it might bring other consequences like maybe this person will spread rumors about you after you cut them off, you're going to need to do two things to deal with these tough rubber bands. Stronger boundaries and raising your standards. There's a quote that goes, Just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained me as an enemy. I'm bigger than that. I still want to see you eat, just not on my table. When I say cut and snap these rubber bands, that doesn't entirely mean cut off friends. It can mean snapping the labels and expectations that you don't want others to associate with you anymore. And you can do that with boundaries. Weak boundaries and no boundaries result in the same outcome your self-esteem getting destroyed. In 2021, after I snapped those four-year rubber bands and I made better friends, those labels that the old friends put on me still lingered. I unfortunately accepted those labels for a while and what ended up happening was my new friends adopted the labels that I put on myself. And I can't really blame them because I didn't do anything to stop it. My boundaries were weak and my standards were low. Something about boundaries that you should know is you need to be unapologetic. Don't start your boundary with, forgive me for this, or sorry for asking this. You think it makes you sound humble and polite? It doesn't. What it actually does is make them not take your words seriously. Never put yourself down before you even present what you are trying to say. If it's not an apology, don't apologize for it. And trust me, this is much harder than it seems because after you have implemented a boundary, like I said, there will be resistance to you growing. They will guilt trip you and make you feel bad for standing by your boundary. They might say things like, I miss the old John, you've changed. 
once again meeting you in your past and unknowingly bringing you down. You'll be tempted to say you're sorry or cave in, but doing that misses the point of a boundary. If somebody doesn't like your boundary, that's a very good sign that it's working. A boundary is not for their protection, but for yours. So get comfortable disappointing people. Someone is going to run into your boundary. You're going to disappoint someone. And all that means is you're doing something right. Because if those friends are truly rooting for you, they will understand and accept those boundaries to grow with you. I haven't mentioned the good parts of friendships, and that's because I don't have to. You have no trouble identifying and remembering the good times. The question is, is the good worth the trade-off or the bad? And before you make that decision, it's important to understand that we often look at the past with rose-tinted glasses and nostalgia, which causes us to associate the past with a lot more good than bad. This video isn't about cutting people off anytime there's a conflict, it's about choosing who you grow with and how. It's about understanding when to fight for a friendship and when to cut it off for personal growth. When there is significant change due to circumstances like switching schools or for me, choosing to snap a rubber band to grow, that is when you are most vulnerable and when someone you know might start secretly hating on you in this way. And you can't really blame them because not many people do grow, or in their words, change. So the best thing I would say to someone if they told me, you've changed, is to say in response, yeah, and you haven't. But guess what? That is okay. People grow apart, go different directions, that's how life works. And like I said, that doesn't mean you become enemies. If your relationship is in a bad state due to change and growth, nobody is really at fault because you started out as good friends, so either your goals have changed, or theirs have, and that's okay. So remember, confront those rubber bands with respect, and do it unapologetically. Your future depends on it. I'm making this for any of you that feel the same feeling that I had. If you have great friends, that's amazing, and I hope you guys stay close. This is just for the people who do have that feeling of someone secretly hating on them, and are not sure what to do. Where are you in this whole process of raising your standards and snapping rubber bands? You probably have someone in mind now, or maybe you are thinking of someone you've cut ties with before. Let me know your experiences in the comments and subscribe.